Did oh, I draw oh, a girl into existence? people herpes? Yeah, dude. You no, should why did I draw a girl? Not give people herpes. I don't have herpes. Never gave anyone herpes. I want to know why I drew a girl into existence and then it didn't work. Um, I don't know. Maybe because you were inauthentic in ways, Dave. What ways do you think you were inauthentic? Mm, I don't know. I did a bunch of shit I don't normally do. But I, like, like doing it with her. We, like, went on walks and shit and had all kinds of cool dates. And I don't know. It was fun. It was the most fun I ever had with anybody. And it was, like, really passionate sex. Like, it's hard to even explain. Yeah, I mean, you know what, uh, like, I don't know, I don't know how much I believe this, but I've had a theory in the past, like, like, I've dated girls who have said, like, I've dated nobody, but, and and here's the thing, too, take it with a grain of salt, because, you know, you hear it enough that you kind of, I don't know, you kind of start to think, like, okay, well, this is kind of uh, what maybe you tell everyone. But I've dated girls who have been like, oh, I've just, people I've dated beforehand are assholes and you're just so nice and this and that or whatever. I've been told that before, but also those are the same girls who probably should be treated. So, some of them have been girls who like probably like, like being with assholes, you know, because it's like the way they act when they're around you is like, well, what the fuck else do you want me to do other than be an asshole? Like, you're, you have no personality, and I can't stand being around you, you know? But you try to be nice. Yeah. And like, oh, okay. <laughs> you know, it's like, okay, well, how do you expect anybody to treat you anyway other than be an asshole if you're a fucking asshole yourself? And it's like, so, Well, that's you know, what I'm saying, and, and I mean, most of the time I am an asshole, different. like. It's different though if like you're with a girl and like you're nice and she's receptive to that and it's like oh okay well in their nice back and stuff and you and you can kind of be sweet and vulnerable in those ways but yeah dude if you're with a fucking girl and you're fucking being all nice and sweet and stuff but then when you're with her she's a fucking asshole she's a fucking cunt bag and fucking you know she probably deserves to be with assholes I don't know it was the most fun I ever had, and now it makes, like, relationships that I try to get in now just really boring, and I don't know. I I just, I'm ready to meet somebody cool that I can be with forever. Well, why haven't you, Dave? Why haven't you spoken it into your life? Because that's just not real or whatever. I found the one, man. I'm calling it. Well, I've found the one. You. I'm excited that that's I'm happening. Settle down, bro. I mean, we, we got it. This is the last show podcast, man. I got to get my shit together. What? This is the last show of the podcast, man. I got to get my shit together, man. Settling down. What's that happen? I'm going to take a job as an accountant. As an accountant? Yep. We gotta start what? slinging these dollars. Gross! Don't sling dollars, dude. That's how this happens. You make dollars by doing a podcast. Really? We're gonna make, dude. Well, we're mean, about to blow up, especially with this episode. You think so? Oh yeah, dude. This is a good one. Did somebody say that to you? Yeah, dude. Everybody's listening. Dude, we got like 5 dude. million listeners right now. Tell one of them to call in. One of you 5 million call in right now and tell us the story. Yeah, call in right now. 914-205-5427 on your FM dial. That's 914-205-5427. Next caller, please. Is that a little over the top? Are they calling? Much? Are they nah, calling? Are they calling? Call on, Dave. Well, well, it's fun for me. Nobody's when they calling. Do. Me and you, we like... got we got to keep this going. We got to keep this flying. What do you want? What's your favorite that girl, thing about that girl life? Called, that girl we called. That girl we called last week who uh, turned her boyfriend gay. She called back. Yeah. Who yeah. turned her boyfriend gay? 
Call back. Yeah, her fiance. I wonder why she turned him gay. I don't know. She probably turns all of her boyfriend slash fiance is gay. Funny story about that. <laughs> you know uh, Courtney Love? You know who Courtney Love is, right? I do. Kurt Cobain's ex. She killed him. Right. Before Kurt Cobain, though, she dated the keyboardist for Faith No More. And then, mm-hmm. direct, and then like, soon after dating her, he turned gay. <laughs> I don't think you can turn gay. No, no, like, it was like he dated her, then he became gay, and then she dated Kurt Cobain, and then he killed himself as opposed to turn gay. It was like he had a choice to make, and he took the easy way out. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> but it seems funny in my <laughs> Yeah, you're a raging psycho. Yeah, oh, clearly. Clearly. Um, I'm not a raging yeah, psycho, man. Dave. That was so cool. Oh, speaking of with, speaking of which, you know that like, oh, yesterday was Kurt Cobain's birthday. He would have been 53 today. <laughs> I just did every one of his songs. That was my impersonation. Yeah. I'm not a big Nirvana fan. I mean, I think when I was younger, like, I liked them just as much as everybody else did, but, like, I wasn't a huge fan. I, uh, I kind of like some of them. Like, Smells Like Teen Spirit... I just seen a funny post that said Pastor dies after 30 days of fasting Trying to beat Jesus' record <laughs> <laughs> So yeah. you just resorted to You're just looking at Facebook now You're not even in the conversation with me, huh? I'm in the conversation It just popped up Why you gotta call me out like that? I was trying to make the show better it, The show's great As long as you're just a good person as long as I'm a good person, it's a good show? Yeah, dude, you got to be a good person. Dave, we've already established multiple times I'm a way better person than you. Yeah. How do I become a better person? What's your advice? Okay. Um, here's how you become a better person, Dave. First thing you need to realize is life is meaningless. Okay. All right? Life is meaningless. However... You as a human being are a meaning-making machine. And so even though life's meaningless, you have no choice as a meaning-making machine to go around creating meaning. Now, the good thing about that is is that that means that you get to create whatever meaning you want, right? Seems kind of narcissistic. But here's the thing, too. You have to create a clearing in your life where you make peace with everything else that's going on. You make amends with people that you need to make amends with, people that you hurt, people whatever, you, even if it's uncomfortable, right? I mean, unless you're going to hurt somebody by doing it, you know, make amends with that so you create a clearing in your life. And once you create a clearing, you can then build and create whatever you want from that. I feel so like you I've have to like that. get out of your... You have to get out of your agoraphobia and, like, actually interact with people. Ooh. That's asking a lot, Bo. I know, right? I mean, it's not really like agoraphobia. It's more like agoraphobia or whatever. (laughs) It's not really agoraphobia. It's like agoraphobia. Right? See, most people don't understand that. It's just like a, a agoraphobia. I don't know what it is sometimes, dude. It, it really does. It probably, I mean, I have a job where I go out and I spend all day outside going and meeting different people and driving all over the fucking place. And, you know, but when it's like when I'm done with that, I'm so ready to just not, like, see or talk or do anything with anyone. Well, Dave, I want weird? you to know that, like, you know what? Like, you're a pretty important person in my life. You know that? 
How do you appreciate think that? You. I appreciate it's, you no, too, it's pretty dude. Cool. It's pretty cool. Like there's a number of different cool things that is happening currently in my life that wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for you being around. That's cool. I mean, we both done that for each other then now. Yeah, see? <laughs> you got a pretty see, cool I job and that had something to do with me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I appreciate that. I met the girl I drew through the getting having that job. Oh, really? That's been since you worked there? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I met I met my current girlfriend through you. And some weird yep. through and uh, I, and that's because I had this job. Yeah. So like if I hadn't hired you, like I this whole thing wouldn't happen. Right. That's pretty crazy when you think about it, dude. That's why we know, should like, be more popular on here, dude. That's why our friendship should draw in more people to listen so they could have luck and maybe they connect with us and they're able to, by connecting with us, it leads to something cool happen in their life. Right, because we make shit happen, bro. Make shit happen. We do. Or we're trying to. If we can ever finish our second episode of What You Call, recorded all here's, that here's shit. The only, yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to get on that eventually. Um, here's the rule, though, uh, ladies and gentlemen. If we've changed your life, uh, you got to let us take a picture of you. But, like, we have to be in the picture, and we got to hold you up like uh, the baboon holds up Simba in The Lion King. He's the circle of life. Right. I just want to do that. I just want to take a picture where I'm holding somebody up like fucking the Lion King. It's like a bucket list item for me. My One of my bucket list things is to have a bird land on my finger. Like I, I'm outside smoking a cigarette or something, and I put my finger out, and I'm like, here, birdie, 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 and the birdie comes and like lands on my finger and just kicks it for a second and flies off. Why is it that I've heard you say this before? I feel like I've heard you say this before. <laughs> I don't know. That's what I want, though, dude. Have you, have you ever had that happen with, like, a butterfly? No. Oh, uh, yeah, probably. But I didn't care. I was like, fuck off me, butterfly. Fucking stupid butterfly. Fuck you, man. Oh, yeah, I wish it was a bird. You couldn't even fucking enjoy the butterfly. See, that's what God was, or the universe it was like fucking sending you a fucking butterfly to try to teach you something. Like, don't just be specific about looking for a bird when God gives you a butterfly. Fucking accept the butterfly and be cool with the butterfly. But you're like, fuck out of here. Everybody's had a butterfly, though, dude. Butterflies are like that. Well, maybe that's all you need is a butterfly. Maybe you should be happy with the butterfly. Maybe you should be happy with the butterfly. I'm happy I want a fucking butterfly. hawk to come land on my forearm like, <laughs> Dude, one time I was working, I used to work in a greenhouse uh, picking lettuce, and, like, a butterfly came and, like, landed on my shoulder and just, like, fucking chilled there for, like, fucking two hours. I thought that was the coolest shit ever. And then you fucked that butterfly? Dude, I impregnated that butterfly. And that butterfly had little mutant me babies with big noses <laughs> little and big heavy ears. Set, little heavy set butterflies just, just crawling along the ground. Yeah. Eating fucking tacos. <laughs> oh, shit. That's funny. Yeah. It hurts to laugh and smile, though. I got a smile with half my face because I killed the fucking nerves in my left side of my face. And now I'm like stroke victim looking. You look like uh, fucking Mel Gibson and the man without a face. Oh, I can't wait till the swelling goes down. Fucking it's gonna be so neat. Quasimodo looking motherfucker. How come sometimes we have like six hundred people? Find you a fucking and Sometimes we butterfly. don't have anybody. I don't know, because sometimes somebody decides that the topic of the week should be fucking technology. What's wrong with that? I don't know. There's nothing wrong with that. I didn't have any ideas. I told you my week been fucked. 